Bharati education has been understood from various vantage points, has come to reflect the vision of society uh, that any kind of government has had. Quality has been imagined differently as part of and in consonance with ideas of modernity, the nation building, also as a longitudinal social project. ICT in education and smart classrooms also came as a way of uh, revolutionizing the idea of learner-centric classrooms. Recently with COVID-19, we have come to think about digital technology in a very different way. It has come to reflect overcoming of limitations imposed by, say, a pandemic, but also thrown up a lot of concerns with regards to uh, digital accessibility, the, who can access education via the digital space. There are two main things that come in. One is the quality of the program, BSc, BA, BTEC, MTEC, what have you. Right? Program design is a complicated thing. So the second aspect, which is very important, is the quality of teaching of those courses that are there in the program. The high quality teacher for higher education has two key characteristics it must be there. You must have the expertise in the subject. Whatever you're talking, sociology, math, physics, computer science. But can we make their teaching accessible to a larger student body through digital technology? The lecture portion of it, we already have good technologies available to, to make it accessible to global audience. So the two aspects that are, are blended and hybrid. So blended uh, is defined as some portion of the course is delivered face to face and some portion could be online. So now the second portion, hybrid is where the course is largely in person in the class, but some students are present and some students are online. Okay, so you're teaching here, 100 students attending here, 100 students attending online. Quality has been associated with privilege in education. And that is a given of the colonial system of education. What we realized was that when we were starting the program, we were told that you first develop materials, curriculum materials, reading materials, and only then start. I feel technology is a wonderful aid to education. We need to keep the space of education human because education is about people and it's about changing lives. It's about society. Three critical questions around education technology. Then one, how can they be fit for context for low income settings? Two, how can we generate evidence of what's working in this context and what isn't? And I think three is just reflecting a little bit on some ecosystem level enablers that can help us unlock uh, at tech adoption at scale. The idea there is really to equip those that are going to reach millions of learners with the right tools to make effective decisions around education technology. I remain personally optimistic about the power of technology to eliminate the walls and borders of a classroom essentially, right? If we can have, you know, if the teacher can get insight into what the child is do doing at home, it can be quite catalytic and can you know begin I think to reduce the burden of delivering lessons to a very large classroom with diverse learning levels. Technology can provide a fun engaging and personalized learning experience when it's delivered right and integrated meaningfully. We say that we have been pushed into teaching digital education. We have we are being pushed due to pandemic. Our experiences observation says that the word push in itself gives some kind of negative connotation. I was teaching at a point when uh, like COVID came into being. Using the push gives a negative connotation, right? I, I do think that COVID created momentum around ed education technology. It may be used to say it's actually not desirable, but we are pushed into doing it. While what you're saying is, hey, look, you've got to embrace it because that's where the future is. So at best, we should say, hey, look, we got this experience. Now let's embrace it. I think I did use the word push still because I do feel that we were pushed. Uh, the NEP 2020 is pushing us further. It's a question of institutional preparation. If there are no devices, wouldn't that be called push? Thank you so much.